Lights are still the buildings, all this light and heat. Time to take a stand, boys. Time to make a choice. Time to find our courage. Time to be deployed. Make our only stand here. Make our roads complete. All we waited for now, past and future meet. Get your weapons ready. Kiss the ones goodbye. Now our time is coming, and it is not the time to cry. Maybe. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Hello, wonderful people of the internet. Hello, my peoples. What's up, Arvanauts? Uh, it is wonderful to see all of you today. Welcome to a kind of a bonus cast, um, which I'm doing for several reasons, which I'll explain in just a minute. But first, let me say hi to everybody. Uh, I would like to say hello to Zach. Hello, Spongy. Hello, Snip. What's up, Messiah? Hello, Mercurius. What is up, Porquitos? What is up, Kilobyte? Uh, what is up, uh, Renato Zom? I think I spelled that, pronounced that right. What's up, Kilobyte? I think I said hi. What's up, Hippophant? What's up, Graydon? Hello, Game. What's up, Dragon? Hey, what's up, Dragon? Dragon and Dragon. Ah, Dragon Spear and Dragon Right are in the chat at the same time again. Must be a good omen. What's up, Derps? Uh, hello, Berticiel. Hello, Apples. And of course, Fallen. What's going on, everyone out there? Wonderful to see everybody. A uh, pleasure. And yes, I am on uh, Saturday streaming, uh, and the reason is twofold. Number one, um, did a lot of work today, a lot of grading. Have a lot more to do, but did a lot of grading already today. Um, actually, three reasons. That was reason number one. Reason number two is uh, that we had such a good cast last night, and I had such a good time doing it that I thought, what better thing to do than to sort of follow up and keep the momentum going, especially because of the two special casts that I have next week, which I will bring up in just one moment. And then the third reason is I was supposed to be playing a uh, live D&D &D campaign tomorrow, 
Um, we normally try to meet once a month to once every five weeks or so. Um, but one of the people and in the campaign and is out of the picture because he tore his Achilles playing basketball. So he's actually he's actually was just got out of the hospital and they think that he may have to go in for surgery on Monday. So he's in a lot of pain and is obviously not in a position to be able to play anything at the moment because he's in that pain. And his wife is a second person in the campaign. Losing one person I can manage. Two people, not so much. So um, we had to reschedule that and as a consequence tomorrow is a little bit more open than I had originally expected. So for all those reasons, it meant that I am able to join you wonderful people and follow up with some more Dragon Age Inquisition. You finish two exams over eight hours. Your brain is mush and ready to be easily amused by you. Very nice. Very nice, Dragon. I like that. Very like that. I, I know what you mean, too, because I certainly felt a little bit of that also as I was going through grading, and I'm like... Oh man, that grading though, that grading. A um, couple of announcements about stuff coming up next week, by the way. Um, on Tuesday, I will have my normal stream during the day, and I will continue with day six at that point of Dragon Age Inquisition. On Thursday and Friday, I have two special casts that week. Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, I'm going to be streaming. I'll try to come on maybe a little bit early, but at 8 p.m. is going to be the official start of the interview of Dave Marsh from uh, Shadowgate fame. He's the guy who did the first Shadowgate and did the Shadowgate remake. He also did Deja of Vu, other point and click adventures. So he's going to be here on Thursday night, and I'm going to be giving away a few copies of Shadowgate, courtesy of King Foom and Reverb Games. So you guys should definitely check that out. Um, please mark your calendars for that. I need as big a turnout as I can get with lots of people with lots of questions. And it's kind of a cool game. If I actually have streamed Shadowgate earlier in the day, and so uh, you know that's that's I streamed that earlier in the, not in the day earlier in the year. I mean, so um, yes, I like Shadowgate quite a bit, and I'm looking forward to uh, talking with him about that. And then Friday the following day, I'm also really pumped up about that because Friday at 8 p.m., I'm going to be talking to the folks who did Elegy for a Dead World, um, and I have three of the developers coming for that, and that's going to be really cool. Um, that's uh, just a really, really neat game. I, again, I can see all kinds of sort of applications with chat, and I don't know, just lots of fun things that can be done, so that's happening Friday at 8 p.m. as well, and then after that, um, I'm going into my winter break at that point. I do have a short story that I have to write. Uh, my grading will be close to finished by then. By the time we get to Friday, my grading should be just about done um, and grades will be submitted and then I have a short story that I have to write in about four or five days I've already actually started to outline it um, and then when that's finished then I'll be going into my winter break officially I am going to be working on a novel over the break but um, that's obviously something that's a little bit broader in terms of schedule so uh, I may be adding a stream in for the winter schedule we'll kind of see that'll last for about a month and then I'll be back into the spring semester and we will uh, probably go back to the normal in school sort of streaming schedule so that's we're looking like uh, over the next Next uh, week or so. Uh, 8 p.m. kilobyte on Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. 8 p.m. Thursday, 8 p.m. Friday. So, yes, <laughs> he needs to feel your pain. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, having a chance to chat with him because it's true. They were talking about how the new Shadowgate has like hard mode, and the hard mode of the new Shadowgate was like the actual mode of the original Shadowgate on NES. It was it was interesting. And actually, Shadowgate was originally on Mac. Uh, it was on Apple IIe, I believe, was where it came out first. But I never had one of those. I had a Nintendo. And so that's what I first played it on. And yeah, cool game. Really cool game. But um, definitely, definitely difficult. So... Anyway, that's the deal with that, um, and then uh, hopefully also some D&D &D coming up over the next week, uh, not necessarily, maybe, it's not going to be this coming week, but maybe the weekend, possibly, or the following week, so we'll get that going on as well. Uh, but, ha that having been said, I hope everyone has enjoyed themselves and had a good Saturday. Let me get rid of, let's see, let's get rid of this, let's get rid of this, and let's go on with this. Hello, everyone. Uh, it is good to see everybody, and um, for some reason my webcam has decided to start off to the left, because of course it has. Ah, webcam. Webcam, you troll webcam. Don't you go changing. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Let's move you over here. Just like that. Okay, I think that's all I really actually needed to do. Uh, and Here we go. Good. Cool. Awesome. Huzzah. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay. Your choir practice starts at 7 p.m. Central, which is at 8 p.m. Eastern. You're going to miss a chunk of it. Uh, that's too bad, man. But, I mean, you know, like, um, I'll have him on for at least an hour, you know. So, I mean, I'm going to have him on until 9. If he goes until 9.30 or 10, that's fine. But I'll have him on at least till 9. So, that's the best I could do for you, though. 
If you miss it, of course, you can always check uh, the VOD, naturally. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, if people would be so good as to do a couple things as the stream begins, that would be awesome. I'm going to be streaming tonight for only about um, two and a half hours or so. Uh, no more than that, because um, I do have to get stuff done tomorrow, um, even though I have a more open day than I thought I did. So I'm going to be streaming until about 12.45, 1 a.m. Eastern, and then I'll be done. Um, so as the stream starts, if you guys could tweet out the stream for me, if someone could uh, throw down an exclamation point CT. Um, and if you click that, you'll be able to tweet out the stream. Also, if someone would be so good as to throw down an exclamation point ARV tube, that would be much appreciated because I have a uh, YouTube channel which has just hit 100 subscribers on the YouTube channel, which is awesome. Uh, that is where you can find all of my past broadcasts, including my broadcast from last night. Um, so you can check things out there. And then last but not least, um, exclamation point Steam group will get you to uh, my Steam group on Steam, uh, where I now have 178 um, members, 178 members, which is awesome. We're continuing to boost uh, things up there. And uh, if we keep going in a positive direction there, that's going to be great. That's basically the community on Steam where you can hang out between casts. You can join the forums. You can, you know, chat about all things ARV and otherwise. Um, and so it'd be awesome if you could join us over there as well. Last thing I want to mention. Uh, yeah, sick day for Thursday. That's what I'm talking about. See, there you go. There you go, man. The other thing I want to mention, too, by the way, is that um, we have just hit uh, 2,473 followers at last count. Uh, we had a really good night yesterday for follows as well. So if that keeps up, um, when I hit 2,500 followers, my plan is to apply for partnership again. Um, and so uh, let's hope the numbers have been great um, over the last few sessions playing this. So let's hope that continues to go uh, in the positive direction. Um, that would be awesome. And in the meantime, I just want to say again a heartfelt thank you to all of you who have been following the stream and have been a part of it. Um, um, I love all my regulars. You guys are the lifeblood of the channel. And of course, I love the new people because you add into our community. I'm really proud of the community that we've built here on Twitch. Um, so just wanted to say you guys are the best. Wanted to make that clear. Now, with that said, um, with all of that information, chat all things. Chat all things. I know, right, Fallen? All of a sudden, you got responsibilities and stuff. <laughs> I have not played Volgar the Viking, but I think I have heard of it. I believe I have heard of Volker the Viking, but I have not played it, no. But it's awesome you got through level 1 without getting hit. I have a feeling that's something that would not happen to me, somehow. Because I bet that's a platformer, and I bet, therefore, I would get hit several times. Probably numerous times, as fact. Anyway, um, alright, so uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, just in case anyone is curious, I am currently wearing my... Let's see. Show and tell time. This was a gift from my mother-in-law. I'm wearing my We Don't Keep Calm... It's football season shirt. So, and I have a Seahawks jersey on. Uh, that's out of uh, deference to my wife and uh, father-in-law, who are both from Seattle. Um, and I don't mind the Seahawks because they're in the NFC. If they were in the AFC, Steelers, Seahawks, that would be an issue because I'm a Steelers fan, as you guys know. But, um, you know, also it's a very comfortable, it's a very comfortable sort of hoodie. Where I can chat all things. Yeah, yeah. No, where you can chat all the things. All the things can be chatted. I can make chat into a into a multiple use verb. Listen, game misconduct. Let me explain something to you, okay? If you get to have as your favorite sport a sport where for many years there were guys whose literally only job was to go out and punch people and land them on the ice and sit in a penalty box, and that's what they got paid for. If you get to enjoy a sport like that, I get to make my verb passive and active in the ways that I want, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness me chat all the things exactly all right with that said folks i was having a great time with dragon age and uh inquisition and with that i think it is time for us to get back into it i'm really looking forward to uh dragon age um uh, getting more into it and i have a lot of loose ends i have to say we ended so late last night that i have a lot of uh after a very long cast, that I have got a lot of odds and ends to attend to. So you'll have to put up with me for about at least 15, 20 minutes. I got to do some selling. I've got to do some crafting, modifying, all that good stuff. Um, and then we'll get back into uh, the adventure and figure out what we want to do next. Because I built up a lot of power and I increased uh, my levels of my characters. I'm thinking I want to go down to the Storm Coast and check out this Coon guy. Um, but we'll see um, down the line. So, Hey, you take it over. Listen, Mercurius. You just take it easy over there. You have no way of knowing that. The Steelers are perfectly capable of making the Super Bowl. They're also perfectly capable of losing their next five games 30-0. to zero. That's the great thing about the Steelers is that it's never boring. <laughs> 